But you can shoot fast as long as you don't hit anything, then it'll work out just fine. For this pros versus Joe's, Tar is shooting a revolver. He's got six shots, he's got six targets. So as long as he doesn't miss and goes fairly fast, he'll be all right. It's not as even as you might think because six shots, wheel gun, I mean, come on, revolvers are ancient, obsolete technology. They were around during the Roman Empire or something like that. I don't know, I'm no technical guy, but it has a high potential for train wreck, which should be good TV. I am shooting a six inch target with pretty much unlimited capacity. I think that that size difference in the plates is gonna be the only thing that gives me a chance of winning because capacity, if I miss once, if I miss at all, I'm gonna be standing there stuffing rounds into the cylinder while he's busy shooting. Tar's game is speed and a plate rack is made for speed. I'm not a fast shooter. We don't shoot at things fast usually. Um, it's one shot and that's it. It's just the basics, fundamentals, sight alignment, trigger control, don't miss, ignore the cameras, ignore the timer, and if I can do everything right without jerking the trigger, and I don't have a miss, then I think I'll get him, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not placing any bets. I'm just hoping I can kind of keep up on this one. This one will be a little tough. Nathan, honestly, I have absolutely no idea how this is gonna go. Me neither. <laughs> I've never shot anything this fast in a line. Um, you can shoot fast as long as you don't hit anything, then it'll work out just yeah. fine. Yeah, well, we'll see. It's a six inch target. You've got an eight inch target, but you've only got six bullets. I like that. Only got six bullets. Well, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat a little bit. You I'm got a Barney do... Fife bullet? I'm gonna yeah. Two Barney Fife bullets. <laughs> okay. You're all loaded? I will be. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, let's get into our positions right. and uh, I will hit the timer. Are you ready? Yeah, I guess so. Got me. Okay, all right. Who keeps saying that he's a, a Joe? Come on, he's running a six inch plate rack without a, do you have, even have a miss? Head one, that's what got me. I was unpleasantly surprised at how well he was able to shoot relatively small targets. He had one miss, and that was really the only reason that I won. I just wanted him to miss one target. That's really all I needed. I was deliberately going slow enough to guarantee not missing because I knew if I missed, I was done. I didn't have any extra rounds in the gun. That was close. First time though on a plate rack. <sighs> well, with oh the goodness. timer, we'll put it that way. That was, that was fun. I like that. That was fun. That was, that's nice shooting. Over the past 25 years, I don't know how many thousands of rounds I've fired at plate racks. And these self-resetting heavy-duty plate racks from Revolution Targets are so much nicer. It takes the drudgery out of shooting. Filming guns and ammo, you see lots of targets going down, and you see lots of time wasted going down range or doing whatever you have to do to pull a target back up. These Revolution heavy plate racks are awesome. You don't have to go down and spin. You don't have to pull a rope. You don't have to do anything. So time saved not setting up targets is more time really you get to shoot. I only had him by half a second. If he had larger plates, he would have won. Actually, that was far too close for comfort. But I got to give it to you, man. That's good shooting. Yeah. Thank you, appreciate it. It was fun. Going against the pros is a lot of fun. You know, you just want to do good, and I felt like I did pretty good. So it's nice to have a guy that lives in this arena to actually confirm that. This is the new Colt King Cobra. It's got a fabulous trigger. If it had a typical heavy double action trigger, he would have won. I just got it by the skin of my teeth. Obviously, this is something I've never shot, and this is his game. Now, granted, he was handicapped with a revolver, I was handicapped a little bit with six inch instead of eight inch, and I was really handicapped because I've been humping cameras for 11 hours a day while he's been sleeping in the van. It's true, I've been working for all of about two and a half hours, he's been working all day, but hey, it is what it is.